Hey, gentlemen, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for these devotionals. I love being here with you. I hope you do too. Now, this week, we're going to take a little break from our normal reading through the Bible. Don't worry, we'll come back to it after Easter. But this week, I want to focus on the events of Easter and the reasons why, well, that event Easter is so important to our faith. Sometimes I think Easter can be a very cryptic event to Christians and non-Christians. This week, we begin our journey in the book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 15. It reads this way. It states, And you killed the author of life, whom God raised from the dead. That's Easter. To this, we are witnesses. We are witnesses. Now, to understand this text, we do need a little context, meaning we've got to understand some of the backstory, right? The person speaking here is a man named Peter. Peter was one of Jesus's closest or most intimate disciples. He was part of that inner circle. And he made this statement shortly after Jesus ascended to heaven. And in this situation, Peter and his bud John are making their way back to the temple grounds for prayer. And on the way, they pass through an entrance. Here they encounter a well-known lame beggar. Now, everybody knew this lame man, and as usual, he's out there daily begging because he was unable to work because he was, well, lame. So Peter, instead of giving him a customary financial gift, because he didn't have one, it appears, offers him another gift, maybe a better gift, the gift of healing to his dysfunctional legs. And fellas, this man has never walked. He was born lame, and everybody in town knew it. Miraculously and instantaneously, this man's Legs are healed. He leaps from the ground. And all the people on the temple grounds, who are primarily devout religious Jews, are ecstatic at what has just happened. The crowd erupts into celebration. But Peter's a little dumbfounded at their response. We could even say by some of his tone here that he appears a little hacked off that they're celebrating, mainly because he understands it was the same religious people on these grounds who sentenced and killed a man who performed very similar miracles. They didn't celebrate those. You see, Peter understands something that the religious people didn't understand in this moment, that it was Jesus who actually healed that lame man. It was Jesus who caused him to walk. It was the power of Christ that gave life and strength to that man's legs. But those people on that temple grounds didn't make that connection, so they're celebrating. So Peter, in this moment, appears to get a little snappy with them in his tone, but all of a sudden, it's, it, it changes. It's almost instant in these verses here, because now he sees that maybe there's hope for them to see everything through the lens of Easter, to see through the lens of the resurrection that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, just like he said. You know, this week I said we're going to reference a few uh, reasons that Easter is important. And I actually think we see one right here in Acts chapter 3. You know, Easter, the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, is the event, fellas, through which humanity makes sense of everything. It is the most important event of all time. All time. Through this single event, we gain clarity about God, about us, and about God's love for all humanity. This event is the culmination of the story of God, and without it, man would be in a perpetual state of confusion, just like those religious people on that temple grounds in that day. Without Easter, there is no reason. In fact, Easter is reason. It's actual reason. It is how God reasoned our salvation. It's not just the reason. It is reason itself. Just consider for a second how confused God's people were in this text. I mean, desperately confused. They kill one man and cheer another. They were desperately confused about God. And by the way, the people that Peter is speaking to in this text weren't just any people. They were some of the most devout followers of God at that time. They came to worship God at his temple, yet completely misunderstood him. Not only did they misunderstand him, but they killed his son. In their blatant misunderstanding about God, they murdered God's son. And yet, get this, Jesus 
allowed that to happen. He died for them. Jesus died for confused humanity because he knew they could not make sense of him without Easter. Without Easter, an event that had not yet happened. So he just went ahead and died. (laughs) And now Peter begins to understand that maybe they will understand. So he presents Easter as the miracle to them, evidenced again by what happened in a lame man's legs. See, Peter is a little irritated, but he also knows that maybe now we'll make the connection. The connection of the miracle of the lame man to the miracle of the Son of Man. Do you see the connection? That it was the same God and the same power that raised a lame man to walk and raised a dead man to life. The same God and the same power. You know, fellas, this week there are people that you're going to meet who are going to be desperately confused about Easter Sunday. They're they're just not going to get it. I want to encourage you to do something for me, to be patient with them, to be patient with them like God was with you. God wants all people to understand, Phyllis, and he knows that there are people that you want to understand about this too. While they may be confused today, just pray that God's going to illuminate their minds because, fellas, this fact is true. Jesus lives. He is alive and he is well, and he will make his power known. I love you guys. Thanks for joining me today. If this has blessed you, bless it by someone else by sharing it with them, and I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.